Hello everyone. Welcome to my YouTube channel Talwani Classes. Today in this class we will discuss about a sample paper released by CBSC and we will solve multiple choice question and learn many more but little important things which help you to solve in many other questions. Okay, now our first question is if two positive integers p and q can be expressed equals to as p equals to a b square and q equals to a q b where a and b are prime numbers these are prime numbers and the, the lcm of p q is equals to a a b b a square b square c a q b square and d a square b q we know all that to find lcm we have to take the maximum power the power of a is 1 power of a is 3 we have to take a3 and power of b here is 2 and here is 1 we have to take the maximum power for lcm that is a q b square our answer c is right answer if we have to ask we have asked to find the hcf in hcf we have to take the minimum power so we can say that if we have to find the hcf hcf will be minimum power power of a is 1 a is 3 we have to take a only and power of b is 2 power of b is 1 we have to take that is a b hcf equals to a b and lcm equals to a q b square we have to ask lcm so lcm is a q b square now second question if the distance of a point 4a from the x-axis is half its distance from y-axis it is given the distance from x-axis is half and the distance from y-axis must be double of distance from the x-axis so the this coordinate x coordinate is the distance from 4 equals to distance from y-axis from y-axis and this a a equals to distance from x-axis and we are asked that the distance from x-axis is half this is the distance from x-axis this is the half of this value and we can calculate that if this is 4 and a is the half of 4 so the distance the value of a must be equals to 2 units half of 4 now third question in figure pa in figure pa and pb are tangents to the circle having center c we have to draw a circle these are two tangents that is pa and this is p b p a and p b are the tangents of the circle of center c and p a perpendicular to p b this is the 90 degree angle if radius of the circle is 4 cm this is given 4 cm radius of the circle then the length of each tangent we have to find the length of AP or we can say that BP now look in the figure carefully this is the radius and this is tangent point A is the point of contact between radius and tangent and we know that they intersect each other they touch each other at 90 degree and similarly in this also this is 90 degree because BP is also a tangent and CB is a radius this is B point is also the point of contact there are three right, right angles and we know that the sum of the all four angles of a any quadrilateral is 360 so this angle must be equals to 90 we can see that all four angles are 90 degree and these adjacent sides BA and BP equals to both are equal so we can con conclude that A, P, B, C is a square and we know that all sides are equal in a square so this must be equals to 
4 cm equal to the radius of the circle. So our option A is right answer. Now in question number 4, if P, Q, R and S are the vertices of a parallelogram P, Q, R, S. This is our parallelogram. This is P, 1, 2, Q, 4, 6, R, 5, 7 and S, A, P. We have to find the value of A, P. For this, first of all, we have to draw the diagonals of this parallelogram. And we know that the diagonals bisect each other. The point of intersection is O. O is the midpoint of PR. And O is also the midpoint of SQ. By comparing both these, we can find the value of AB. So A with respect to PR. Midpoint of PR and midpoint of any line, any two points is x1 plus x2 upon 2 plus uh, and y1 plus y2 upon 2. This is 1 plus 5 by 2 and 2 plus 7 by 2. That is 5, 1, 6, 6 by 2, 3. 2 plus 7, 9, 9 by 2. This is the coordinate or coordinates of O with respect to diagonal PR. Now we will find the coordinates of O with respect to SQ. That is A plus 4 by 2, comma B plus 6 by 2. That is, these are the coordinates. Now we will compare this X coordinate by this and this by this. A plus 4 by 2 equals to 3. A equals to 6. A plus 4 equals to 6. A equals to 6 minus 4. That is 2. And by comparing these, this to this, we can write B plus 6 by 2 equals to 9 by 2. Cancelling 2 by 2, B equals to 9 minus 6 equals to 3. So we can say that A equals to 2 and B equals to 3. This is our right answer and we can see that C, A equals to 2 and B equals to 3. C is our right option. So in this, we have solved 4 questions and we will solve many more questions. You can take the screenshot of this. Our next question is, if 2x plus 3y equals to 0, if 2x plus 3y equals to 0 and 4x minus 3y equals to 0, 4x minus 3y equals to 0, then x plus y, is, then x plus y equals to we have to find the x plus y equals to what? By solving these equations, our options are 0, 1, minus 1, 2, 0, 1, minus 1, and b is 2. By solving these equations, 2x plus 3y equals to 0 and 4x minus 3y 
equal to d by solving we will cancel plus 3y by minus 3y and by adding 6x equals to 0 to x equals to 0 similarly by putting x equals to 0 we can find that y equals to also 0 we can put x in this question either in this question we will find y equals to 0 so x plus y 0 plus 0 equals to 0 our first option a is the right answer our next question is if alpha and beta are the zeros of the polynomial if alpha and beta are the zeros of of the polynomial polynomial x square plus x plus y then 1 upon alpha plus 1 upon beta equals to. We have to find the value of 1 upon alpha plus 1 upon beta. First of all, the four options are minus 5, minus 2, and so these are not the options of this question. Options are 0, 1, minus 1. 0, 1, minus 1, none of these. First of all, we have to solve this 1 upon alpha plus 1 upon beta equals to beta plus alpha and alpha beta. We have to find the value of this. This is the sum of roots and this is the product of roots. And we know that sum of roots alpha plus beta equals to minus b upon a. What is b? Coefficient of x square 1 equals to a. Coefficient of x is b that is 1 and c is also 1. All the three values have one value so we can say that minus 1 upon 1 equals to minus 1. Now product of roots that is alpha beta. Alpha beta means product of roots that is c upon a. What is c? c is 1 and a is also 1 that is 1 upon 1 that is 1 now by putting value of these this value equals to 1 alpha plus beta equals to minus 1 and alpha beta equals to 1 so we can say that minus 1 upon 1 equals to minus 1 c option is right answer now our next question is if x square minus 5x plus 1, if x square plus, sorry, minus 5x plus 1 equals to 0, then we have to find the value of x plus 1 upon x equals to, is equal to. The options are minus 5 b minus 2 c equals to 5 and d equals to 3 we have to solve this equation firstly that is x plus 1 upon x by taking lcm we can write it x x square plus 1 we have to find the value of this with the help of this equation we will solve we can solve that x square minus 5x plus 1 equals to 0 by transferring this term we can find x square plus 1 equals to 
5x. By putting the value of x square plus 1 equals to 5x, we have to put here. That is, x square plus 1 equals to 5x and upon x, by cancelling x by x, we can find the value 5. So, our answer is C option 5. Question number X. If P and Q are two positive integers, if P and Q are two positive integers, positive integers, such that P minus 10 Q, such that P minus 10 Q equals to G. Then the HCF of then the HCF of PQ is our options are 0 P Q P Q 0 B option P C option Q and D option PQ ok now we have to take this equation P equals to minus 10 P minus 10 Q equals to 0 by transferring P equals to 10 Q now this is our equation and by taking any value of P and Q we will solve this question by taking P equals to I am taking P equals to 20 let 20 then we can write 10 q must be 10 multiplied by 2 this is p value and this is q value and we have to find the 20 and 2 hcf of 20 and 2 that is 2 so 2 is the value of q so we can say that q is the hcf of this question our c option is right you can take the screenshot of this solution Our 8 questions are completed and now the next question is in triangle ABC is right angle at C. In triangle ABC right angle at C. We will take a right angle and taking C as right angle. These two points are A and B. Then the value of cos A plus B. Then the value of cos A plus B is. Our options are 0, 1, 1 by 2. And D option is root 3 by 2. We can say that this is right angle and the sum of remaining two angles A plus B must be equal to 90. Because the sum of all three angles of a triangle is 180, 90 is given, the sum of remaining two must be equal to 90. We have to find the value of cos 90 and cos 90 equals to 1 cos 90 cos 90 must be equals to 0 so our answer is a option is right cos 90 equals to 0 our next question is
value of sec a upon cot a plus tan a equals to question number 10 value of sec theta upon cot theta plus tan theta cot theta plus tan theta is equals to our options are cos theta tan theta cos theta b tan theta c sin theta and d option a is minus cot theta we will solve this equation sec theta first of all we have to change sec theta cot theta tan theta in terms of sin and cos so we can solution sec theta equals to 1 upon cos theta that's the local of cos cot theta equals to cos theta upon sin theta and plus tan theta equals to sin theta upon cos theta 1 upon cos theta as it is by taking the LCM of sin theta cos theta we will get sin theta cos theta and by dividing this LCM by sin theta we will get cos theta and multiplying cos theta by cos theta we will get cos square theta similarly by dividing this LCM sin theta cos theta by cos theta cos theta is cancelled by cos theta we will get sin theta sin theta equals multiplied by sin theta that is sin square theta and we know that this is our trigonometric identity cos square theta plus sin square theta equals to 1 1 upon cos theta whole upon 1 upon sin theta cos theta and the rule of four digits first multiplied by four and second multiplied by three we can write here one multiplied by sine theta cos theta divided by cos theta into one cos theta cos theta is cancelled by cos theta there is only sine theta so our answer is sine theta c option is right question number 11 in figure AD equals to 1.28 cm. In figure AD equals to 1.28 cm. BD equals to 2.5. BD equals to 2.56 cm. A equals to AE equals to 0.64 cm. And if DE parallel BC, DE parallel BC, then we have to find EC, then EC equals to, our options are 0.64 centimeter, B, 1.32 centimeter, C 2.56 cm and D is 1.28 cm and our figure is A B C D E it is given that D E parallel B C D E parallel B C by remaining our test term BPT basic proportionality theorem if D E parallel to one side of any triangle then it divides the remaining two sides in the same ratio it means ratio of these two sides must be equals to ratio of these two sides and we have given A D equals to 1.28 1.28 and BD equals to 2.56 A equals to 0 0.64 and what is this? 
by comparing by our theorem we can write AD upon BD must be equals to AE upon EC by putting value 1.28 upon 2.56 equals to 0 0.64 that is EC EC must be equals to 0 0.64 multiplied by 2.56 divided by 1.28 we can say that 1.28 is half of 2.56 so we can cut this one times and this two times by multiplying 0 0.64 2 by 2 we get 1.32 that is our answer is equals to 1.32 centimeter b option our right question number 12 value of tan a equals to value of tan a equals to a option cos a upon root 1 minus cos square b option sec a upon 1 minus sec square c option sin a upon under root 1 minus sin square and d that is 1 upon 1 minus sin square look carefully cos a 1 minus cos a square equals to sin square a and square, uh, square root of sin square a is sin a and that is cot a. Cot a is not equal to tan. Similarly by solving this sec a upon 1 minus sin sec square is minus tan square a that is not a real value. So this is not equal to this. Our third option is sin a upon 1 minus sin, sin a square equals to cos square a and square root of cos square a is cos a and sin a upon cos a equals to tan. We can conclude that this c option is right equals to tan. We can take tan, this c option equals to sin. You can take the screenshot of this solution. Our next question is a circle of radius 1 cm. A circle of radius 1 cm. If the diameter of the circle is increased by 100%, if the diameter of the circle is increased by 100% then its area increased by then its area increased by A option 150 percent 200 percent 
C is 250% and D is 300%. Here radius equals to 1, area equals to, diameter must be equals to 2. Area equals to pi r square, pi 1 square, that is pi. Now, diameter equals to double, increase by 100%. The value of diameter is 2 and after increasing the value equals to 2 plus 2 equals to 4 and radius must be equals to 2. Now area equals to area equals to pi r square pi 2 square that is pi 4 4 pi. First normally we have area equals to pi, now the area equals to 4 pi, increased area, 4 pi minus pi, that is 3 pi. The area increased by 3 pi and we have to find the percentage of increase, that is increased by real value pi multiplied by 100, cancelled by cancel pi, 300. So our area will increase by 300%, not by any other. Our next question is, a cube of side 4 cm is cut into cubes of side 1 cm. A cube of side 4 cm is cut into cubes of side 1 cm then total surface area then total surface area total surface area of all the small cubes of all the small cubes is a 384 centimeter centimeter square b option 374 centimeter square c option 324 centimeter square and d option is 284 centimeter square First of all, we have a cube of 4 cm and we have cut it into 1 cm cubes. So, <coughs> volume <coughs> side equals to 4 cm, volume equals to side cube, that is 4 cube equals to 4 into 4 into 4 equals to 64 centimeter. First of all, we have the volume of the bigger cube of side 4 centimeter equals to 64 centimeter. Now, side equals to 1 centimeter. Volume equals to side cube, that is 1 cube, equals to 1. Bigger cube of side 4 cm has volume 64 cm cube. A smaller cube of side 1 cm has volume 1 cm cube. Now we have to find the number of cubes. And we know that to find the number of cubes, number of cubes equals to volume of bigger cube that is 64 divided by volume of small, smaller cube that is 1. We have 64 smaller cubes. Now we have to find the TSA of all the small cubes. TSA of cube equals to 6 into side. Side equals to 1. It means 1 cube has total surface area 6 cm square. And we have total 64 cubes then 
64 into 6 TSA TSA of all cubes equals to 6 4 that 24 2 3 8 the TSA of all small 64 cubes equals to 384 our option A is the right answer next and last question of this session is the difference between the class mark and the class size of the interval. The difference between the class mark, class mark and class size. of interval of the interval 10 to 20 is a option 5 centimeter b 7 centimeter c 10 centimeter and d 14 centimeter. First of all, we have to know that what is the class size and class mark. Class size is the distance uh, difference between the two values. So we can say that class size class size equals to difference between 20 and 10 equals to 10. And the class mark Class mark is the mid value of both the given values that is class mark. Class mark. The mid value of 10 and 20 equals to 15. Now we have to find the difference of these and we can see that difference equals to 15 minus 10 equals to 5 centimeters. So our answer will be A option. 5 centimeter. You can take the screenshot of this this solution. Okay, we have solved 15 MCQs that are very important with respect to the coming exam of CBSC and we will solve next next more questions in our next class. And one more thing to request you that please subscribe my channel and share as maximum as you can. Thank you and have a nice day.